My name is Dr. Jeffrey Walk, and I'm a plant ecologist and conservation biologist here at Middle Tennessee State University. I am interested in the ecology of cedar glades, and cedar glades being these rocky um, limestone open areas found predominantly here in Middle Tennessee, and it is a highly endangered habitat. That's interesting. Thank you for speaking with me today. Why are you excited about mentoring pre-service teacher research? I think teachers can gain a lot from studying uh, the glades, not only the, the glades, but also the forests that surround the cedar glades. Um, one, they can learn about basic techniques in ecology, but I think more important than that, they get to know a local environment that they can share with their students in the future. That's fantastic. Um, can you tell me a little more about what the pre-service teachers will be doing during their research experience? One of the, um, for a fairly long period of time, scientists have wondered whether the cedar glades are closing in. That is, this is a naturally maintained open area. Whether if, if they do close in with red cedars and other trees, some of the plants that are dependent upon that open area may, uh, their populations may decrease. What I would like to do is go back and look at old photographs, digitize those of a particular area, and then delineate the cedar glades and actually try to figure out how has the openness of these glades changed over time. This is also particularly important with modeling future changes in the environment. For example, those that might be caused by climate change. Fantastic. Um, what do you see as some of the, the areas uh, of uh, principal importance um, in this work? I think several. Um, some areas of importance are fairly basic. For example, just learning to identify local plants, local trees. Um, that type of information uh, needs to be uh, given over to students. Uh, a lot of our students do not, cannot identify just a simple oak or maple tree. Beyond that though, it also teaches about changes in the environment. And like I said, the, the other major uh, a aspect to this is what is going to happen with the cedar glades in the future with, with uh, climate change. Yeah, obviously very important. In your opinion, in what ways do undergraduates benefit from their research experience? Well, and the undergraduates that I've had in my lab, um, some of them went, have went on to graduate school, others have went out and gotten um, jobs with environmental science uh, companies. Um, so it, it gives them some hands-on experience that they can use when they're applying for jobs or applying for graduate school. The other aspect to this is that it students enjoy, I mean, this is really the way to learn about not only conducting science, but the way that science is handled and in learning how to carry out an experiment but also learning again about the local environment. Fantastic. Thank you.